You can't directly observe the planet because they're too dim and too far away, but you can notice what the planet is doing to the star. So as a planet orbits a star, because of the gravitational pull of that planet, the star actually wobbles a little bit. So that star is wobbling because there's a planet around it, even though you can't see the planet. So some of the time, the star is coming towards your telescope, and some of the time, the star is coming away from your telescope. We call that a Doppler shift. When it's coming towards you, the frequency shifts to a higher frequency. Blue, when it's coming away from you, it shifts to a lower frequency, red. And so our instruments got good enough to detect that slight change, that rhythmic change from blue to red to blue to red. It's a very, very tiny shift in wavelengths. And that was the first sign. And then later on, there was a new technique. That's called the transit method. When a planet passes directly in between you and the star, you can notice that little bit of dimming of starlight. It's very tiny because planets are small compared to the star. But if you have a very sensitive measurement of the light of that star over time, when a planet passes just in front of it, the star will dim a little bit. And so if you watch the light curve over time of that star, it'll wobble up and down and up and down and up and down. So you're not so much seeing the planet as noticing that the planet is blocking the star a little bit, causing it to periodically dim.